Hello there! And welcome back to another video! Happy 2022 everyone! Uh, I know it's three months into the year and I've only just now started posting uh, my first video of the year, but you know, it's life. That being said, I have been really active on my TikTok, so if you're not following me there yet and you do have a TikTok, I, I ask you to please follow me. The link is in the description. I have a lot of fun on TikTok and I hope that you would as well. So today's video is going to be a bit of a discussion uh, and I'm happy to welcome any comments on the subject and, and talk about uh, opinions on this uh, in in the comments. Uh, I, I really do want to, to have a, a chat about this subject and maybe several of you would have found this somewhat relatable. Uh, I don't know if, if it's just a me thing or if it's an everybody thing but I really wanted to talk about the nature of improvement and making progress in your art after a certain period of time. So real quick while I'm just talking about this uh, I'm going to be drawing a, a quick sketch of my character Talia in, in my sketchbook. I'm using the ELO sketchbooks. Um, I'll, I'm sure I'm gonna give you guys a rundown once I finish it about what I think of the sketchbook. Uh, but yes, uh, ELO sketchbook, mechanical pencil, um, micron fine liners and polychromos colored pencils is what I use for this. But yes, um, I have been doing some thinking and I've been looking back at my works over the years and I've been, you know, seeing all this content on TikTok especially about people who make large leaps of progress in a year, two years. There's this trend going around where you show yourself like right before the start of the pandemic where there was only supposed to be like two weeks of quarantine and now it's obviously two years later and a lot of the world still isn't uh, returned to what it was like before the pandemic. And so people show, a lot of people take this and like how they've changed in terms of the look, the hairstyle, their style, but a lot of artists have been taking this and showing how much they've um, improved since the the initial lockdowns happened and obviously a lot of people spent more time indoors so it's more of an opportunity to do uh, indoor introverted hobbies so a lot of people went from um, a certain level of illustrative abilities to a different level of illustrative abilities and it's it's really inspiring to see how much everyone's improved it's really inspiring just to find other artists on tiktok and see what kinds of illustrations they make and the way that they express their creativity and that kind of got me thinking because also in the last three years i've done this uh, tiktok trend which is uh, there's an audio that says the month of the year and then you showcase an illustration um, for each month of the year every social media platform has had their versions of this um, i know in divian art days we used to do this uh, year summary grid instagram does it as well uh, and i kind of looked at the last three years of my artworks back to back to back uh, in the format of the the versions of that trend that I did and I noticed that like that while there's definitely uh, areas where I've improved things I've done different pieces I'm really proud of uh, there is also just this general sense of um, consistency I guess is the way to express it and I know consistency uh, is it has a positive connotation in a lot of ways but I feel like in the last handful of years, I have reached somewhat of a plateau in terms of my illustrative abilities. If you go back in the history of my channel, um, obviously I've had this YouTube channel for what, like seven, eight, nine years maybe is the first public upload on this. Uh, you can definitely see a, a trajectory of development and of growth uh, in my art style, my art abilities. Uh, I find especially like some of the huge turning points uh, have been when I started doing gesture drawings in 2016. I grew a lot more confident with anatomy and uh, figuring out how yeah how bodies work and having a lot more flexibility and a much easier time just getting something down on the page and then moving forward I feel like I had a very a uh, huge renaissance around 2018-ish in terms of the way that I do colouring, uh, especially digitally, that won't be reflected so much in, in this video that we're watching right now because it's traditional, but I do feel like I've uh, developed a lot in that realm. But past that point, I feel like, especially past 2018, 2019, I've sort of kind of reached this plateau and there are a couple pieces that I did in 2021 that I, and even so far, like one or two of them that I've done this year so far, where I feel like those have really pushed the boundaries of my skills, but I've sort of reached this area and I kind of wanted to talk about it with everyone because maybe you can find this relatable, maybe you have some feedback, maybe you have some tips, but I've reached this point in my drawing abilities where I can confidently draw most of the things that I wanted to draw when I first started drawing. So most of the things like obviously it's like fan art uh, or characters, character design or sometimes character interactions. Um, 
So those were the things that were interesting me back when I first started drawing when I was, you know, 9, 10, 11. Uh, and now I can get those down on paper without thinking about it too much. Like a couple days ago, I did this TikTok that was a duet with somebody that came up with this um, idea of some of the My Hero Academia characters reacting a certain way. So they kind of just filmed themselves acting that and then put text on the screen to show, well, this is this character and this is kind of what they're thinking. And then I just did a duet with it where I just drew the characters doing the thing that they said that they were doing. And to me, that was like super casual and it took me about an hour to do like six-ish sketches or something like that. And that's something that, you know, way back when I was, you know, 14, 15 would have taken me ages. It would have been such a struggle. It would have been, you know, this huge thing that I would have planned for that I would have, you know, pushed myself for and all that kind of stuff. And I just casually kind of like drew it down. Similar to another TikTok that I did over the weekend where it was drawing your OC in a couple different variations. So drawing your character as its normal self, drawing your character gender bent, drawing your character as a child, drawing your character as royalty, and drawing your character as a villain. And again, I was able to smash that out in my sketchbook in about two hours. And it was, you know, obviously I, I put effort into it and I put thought into it and there was a lot of racing going back and forth, but it, it wasn't a huge challenge to me. And then I know also just looking at the work that I admire at this point, that I want to move more towards dynamic scenes, to move more towards uh, having more inclusive, like more impactful environments, I guess, um, and having like deeper connections, maybe even moving more. But that's the thing though, it's just really hard to pinpoint when you kind of want to do everything and, and then you know where you're lacking and, and you know where you want to move but it's just so broad. It's kind of like when you first start drawing, there's so much to learn, it's overwhelming. But then after, at this point, when you're at this level of intermediate that I've reached, where, you know, you want to go to the next step, but there's so many other potential next steps. Like I could move forward in like um, improving my speed, my drafting speed, so then I could go more towards animation, or I can broaden my subject matters and get better at like weapons or armor or environmental things like perspective and, and buildings or like landscapes and stuff like that. So I can do more um, like big picture concept art um, and have more settings as well as characters, not just focused on the characters. Or I can nail down more in-depth sort of lighting and realism and expressions and do really good like portraiture and, portraiture and splash art and things like that. It's just, there's so many different directions and I think I kind of want to go more in the environment or even in the kind of movement. So like pushing uh, foreshortening and, and perspective in figures and stuff like that to try to create pieces that have more more movement and an impact to them as a whole but it, it's it's difficult because it just feels like it's a direction i can't quite grasp and i know like i have a couple ideas and and again i'm happy to hear your thoughts about it. i have a couple ideas of where i could start in in that case in terms of like finding things that inspire me that touch on those things and then trying to sort of study them and replicate them uh finding reference photos and again looking up to the grades uh, and that might be a really good step but it, it's just yeah that there's it feels like i don't know if copying it has as much value i don't know if that's the thing like if you you study it and you copy it then you like absorb lessons and then you can apply them to your work moving forward but at the same time it feels like that might be uh, a limitation in terms of well how much of that am i just going to end up absorbing because other people are doing it and how much of it am i really just is it coming from me in that sense where this is kind of my idea my development my uh my mark on the interwebs or something i don't know but yeah, uh, I kind of just really wanted to talk about this subject because I felt like even though I'm really happy with where my art style and my art skills are, I feel like I'm really flexible. I feel like I can typically uh, convey what I want to convey in my artwork without, you know, stressing too much about it. But at the same time, I wish I could do things that were a little bit more... Um, that had more awe factor or things like that things that were a little bit grander in scale or something and and then there comes the the, the other discussion where uh this is like an advent the jack of all trades master of none sort of thing where i've spent a lot of time um developing my traditional skills and i i spent a lot of 2021 uh, working in my sketchbook and doing some traditional paintings i spent most of december working in acrylics um and those skills are great and i love what i make in there but i definitely feel limitations where i don't 
fulfill my uh, potential uh, with all of the knowledge that I've gathered as an artist when I work in some traditional mediums or even with my sketchbook. Again, you, you might have noticed that I just commented how um, even though I've done a lot of work to improve my sense of lighting, you won't be seeing it because I'm working traditionally. I definitely feel that as much as I want to keep pushing uh, my skills with traditional mediums, my strongest strength is digital, but then there's also this big divide about what I can accomplish with digital stuff versus what I can accomplish in traditional means. Even uh, keeping in mind that a lot of the times, not on my sketchbook, but when I'm working on traditional paintings, I'll sketch uh, my sketch digitally, print digitally, print it and then trace it onto my canvas because uh, I don't know if you've ever tried to erase stuff on canvas but it's a pain in the butt. So yeah, I don't know. I, I just really wanted to have a conversation about this to see if anybody else might feel similar about reaching a plateau in art. I know that this kind of happens in a cycle. I, I know that I was feeling similarly around 2015, 2016 before I started doing the gesture drawings to get a better handle on anatomy where I felt like I had reached a plateau as well. Uh, and I know that it just really takes uh, finding that sort of, the sort of, not trick to it, but the sort of direction um, that you need to, to get yourself unstuck and to even start seeing it. And I'm sure maybe some of you would have would disagree with me in terms of not seeing as much development slash progress in the last couple of years. Um, maybe that's an observation that you've made uh, just looking at it at a glance that I can't quite see because I look at it so closely. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot to talk about here and uh, I'm curious to see what you feel about your own development as an artist and, and how um, over time you focus on different things, whether you still feel yourself improving or even improving at different rates. I think it's just oh, we all connect to that beginner stage where you improve so much so quickly because you, from knowing very little you start picking up some fundamentals and then you can feel that instantly while after you reach a certain point it's just really uh, it's harder to find those insights that you can see throughout someone's entire work. But that being said, uh, again, I am quite happy with the work that I'm able to produce. I'm quite level with my, my speed, my comfort ability, my flexibility. Um, and uh, I feel like I'm in a position where uh, if, uh, you know, the me from a couple years ago were to look at what I can make now, they'd be like, really impressed which is honestly um all you can ask for like I, I read this quote uh the other day that said the only two people you should be worried about impressing is five-year-old you and 85 year old you and for sure i think five-year-old me would be on the floor <laughs> it's like you're not being able to comprehend that a, a human in their space uh, was able to produce what i'm able to produce uh, and an 85 year old me will probably give me a little pat on the head and be like yeah good job <laughs> I mean, that's what I feel anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're about wrapping up the illustration. I think I'm just going to be filling in the background and um, concluding the video. So again, uh, to recap, I feel like I've hit a plateau in improvement. I want to focus more on uh, more dynamic, more impactful pieces, more uh, put together things, not just, you know, a subject and then a, an environment kind of to complement it. I want it to be uh, more cohesive and more... Uh, bigger in general, uh, if bigger can even be used as a word to describe this. And yeah, I feel like uh, I'm not too sure how I'm going to accomplish that. So on that note, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about your own relationship with progress with your skills at this point, or I'm, ha welcome, I'm happy to welcome feedback uh, on where you think I might be able to get some value out of um, feeling as sort of um, stuck as I'm feeling in this sense. And yeah, um, besides that, I hope everyone's been having a good 2022 so far. I know that the world still is quite a, a dreary place at this moment in time, but hopefully uh, everyone's safe and with people around them that they care about and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm still here making art, again, posting a lot on TikTok and having a really good time for it. Um, Talia, my character here, is just looking to the side a little bit blue because we're in Canada, we're just pulling out of the, the worst of the seasonal depression at this point. We're about to be in slush central and I'm really excited to get some warm weather again. But yeah, with all that said, um, I, I hope you found this discussion interesting um, and I'm excited to read everyone's comments. Um, obviously, I'm not posting too frequently, but still happy to welcome any uh, subscriptions if you find my content interesting and I'll see you all sometime. Thank you.